Hey, yo, yo, what's up? This is Mama D with another Mama D report. I am here in the hip hop room with Rev. That's what's up. I'm hey, Rev. <laughs> thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule to come over here and talk with us. And thank stuff. you for having me. This is so yeah. cool. <laughs> now, it seems like every time within the past year or so, I went to a hip hop show or a rap show. You're one of the featured performers. Correct. It's like you're everywhere. Everywhere. And you are, it seems like you are really dedicated. Yeah. So who inspired you to be like so dedicated to your craft? Um, the music in itself, as cheesy as that sounds, inspired me, you know what I mean? I love music. I love spreading the word. As far as like particular artists go, I mean, Greaves is a big inspiration to me, atmosphere. The um, like the OG, the OGs of Sioux City hip hop, like Ebola, uh, Protege, Kaiser Flose, Biggs, you know, uh, Biggs. <laughs> even, even, even malicious, uh, you know, backwards them dudes, man. Um, they were all. I know those dudes. Pretty <laughs> yeah. you know, the one, the ones who were doing it, man. I just wanted to, to be like them, kind of. <laughs> all right, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now. Um, I heard something about this Sioux City hip hop project called Short Attention Span. Yes. What is that? Short Attention Span is a <clears throat> it's a collaborative effort amongst uh, I believe there are eight artists plus Ebola. Ebola is a mastermind. I don't know if you know Ebola, but he is probably the, the biggest influence for anyone in Sioux City hip hop. In, in my opinion, and just talking to other people, there would be no hip hop in Sioux City. Hip hop in Sioux City wouldn't be where it is today without Ebola. Um, anyways, he got together some artists and uh, recorded a, um, I think it's nine tracks. Not, it's 11, there's an intro and an outro. He's got a solo track. Basically, it's um, each track is him and a featured artist. Um, it's myself, John Jubilee, Protege, Ron Gotti, Biggs, Animal Teeth, um, Flose. I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Oh, Top Civilian, Eric from uh, the Gateway Drugs on there. So, yeah, it's just, you know, the heavy hitters plus me. Is that like who was on and the, the, the Weekender? Yep. Was that last week's Weekender or was that it was coming last up? Week's. It was last uh, week's Weekender. You know, I looked everywhere trying to find that and oh, I could not find that Weekender. I took them all. That's, yeah. that's what I was going to say. Did you go to the store and just grab all I the Weekenders? Because, yeah. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> Now, when you started, or at least when I noticed you, right. you had a huge beard. I did. Okay. What made you decide to trim it down or to cut it off? Or what made you decide to grow it that big at that time? <clears throat> well, the it was no shave 14. Basically, it was raising awareness for cancer. It, it's kind of, looking back at it, it was great, but the whole mindset behind it was probably dumb. Basically, my whole idea was it, it was me and a few friends just we weren't going to shave or cut our hair for a full year my mentality was if you see two groups of people walking down the street you know one just looks normal clean cut and the other dudes look scruffy as hell just all bearded up i mean which one's going to get your attention it's the scruffy ones and it worked man that sort of i almost let it define me to an extent there though but i mean come you know i think it was january 2nd it was on <laughs> back, oh, back to me yeah I, I usually keep my hair really short my, my beard I will usually th this is it this is as far as it goes but yeah it was nuts man it was cool don't think I'll do it again <laughs> <laughs> um, how does it feel to perform Saturday in the park oh it's incredible man it's a uh, something I've always wanted all of the artists that look I look up to have done it and I feel like it's just me just just taking that next step and putting myself yeah. out there. I mean, what what's cool is that they asked me if I would be interested in being a part of it, which is really humbling because I, cool. I do I do take a lot of time. Anyone who's seen me perform live knows that I give it my all. Like that that's where I my passion is is my live performance. I leave it all out there. Um, so it's it's super cool that somebody recognized that, you know, and I've been fortunate enough to make a name for myself within Sioux City and the hip-hop scene here. And yeah. Not only that, but I've played shows in Fargo thanks to Zeus. Zeus, shout out to Zeus. He, uh, he's helped me out tremendously, man, just as far as booking shows out of town and stuff. So it's cool to just yeah, reach out there and reach if you're, out. If you're a hard worker, he's there to 
Oh help yeah. You out. Oh, if you're willing to put the time in, done. he'll he'll help you. That's yeah. right. Okay. Um. Now I'm just going to ask you some off the wall, just spurt out questions. Okay. Got it. What is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I uh, usually. Not to get too vulgar, I scratch my balls and I go take a piss. <laughs> I mean, in that routine, man. You know, it, it, it depends. I mean, I'm addicted to my phone. Anyone will tell you that, man. So usually it's like, fuck's going on with Facebook, man? <laughs> and I'll check my Facebook while scratching my balls and then I go take a piss. <laughs> okay. Taco Bell or La Juanitas? Oh, La Juanitas, man. There's no freaking comparison. Well, hold on. Yeah. I guess if you're broke and you're kind of down in the dumps and you got three bucks, I'm I'm hitting up Taco Bell like you know three in the morning, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. If I'm drunk, I'm gonna eat some Taco Bell. I don't really want to be in Lawas, but if it's like just chilling with people, you're in a good mood, you have money. I'm hitting up Lawas. All right. Tech Nine or Twisted Insane? Oh, Twisted Insane all the way. Uh, weekdays or weekends? Oh, weekends. Weekends for where it's at. What are your favorite shoes? My favorite shoes are, man, I I, I wear a shoe lift actually, um, so it's hard to have a favorite pair of shoes. But favorite pair I've ever owned, I actually currently have now, where they're uh, just high top Air Force Ones, all black. Uh, Love them. They're so they're not the most comfortable shoe, but <laughs> they look good, man. They look cool. All right. If you could have a superpower, what kind of superpower would it be? Oh man, I would like to. And it uh, doesn't have to be PG-13. <laughs> just stamina would be great, you know. But uh, no, I I thought about that before. I I think I'd like to just be able to fly, man. I think that'd be cool as hell. Yeah, that would be cool. Do you know a good joke? I I do kind of, actually. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of cheesy, man. What, what do you call a nosy pepper? What? Jalapeno business. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If you were a color, what color would you be and why? Uh, red, man. I think red's just the color of passion. It's a, it's a vibrant color. It's well known. And that's me, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Johnny Depp or Ron Jeremy? Oh, I, Johnny Depp with Ron Jeremy's penis is, you just can't beat that, man. That, that dude is slaying women left and right, man. <laughs> Megan Fox or Emma Stone? Oh, Emma Stone, man. I'm a sucker for redheads. Yeah, definitely Emma Stone. Now, if you were trapped on a desert island for six months, and you could only have three albums while you were on that island. What three albums would you have? To oh man, to? that's tough. Uh, I would say "Irreversible" by Greaves. Um, "Vulgar Display of Power" by Pantera. And uh, man, that's tough. I I probably go with. Uh, City of Evil, I believe that's what it's called. Right? Is that the name of the album? I feel like I should know that. Yeah, um, yeah, that be those three. Okay. I'm actually a really big metalhead. A lot of people don't know that. My, yeah, I listen to metal. My too, passion so. is Pantera. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, now, if anybody wanted to check you out, or where would they, where would they go to to check you out? You should go to uh, Facebook.com/slash/x. Rev X712, and they should peep that, see where I'm performing, and just come out to the show. Man, be cool. <laughs> but yeah, I'm also on a ReverbNation.com slash XRevX712, uh, Rev712.BandCamp.com. I'm all over the place. But Facebook is where where you can find me. Facebook. And you got some videos on YouTube as well. I do. I do. Oh yeah, I do have some videos. He's got on YouTube. a really bomb one. <laughs> it, I've got yeah, imbecile. I've got to tell you, if you dig deep enough, there's there are some videos out there that um I recorded when I was like 17, 16, maybe. Uh, they're just acapellas, and I was terrible. So if you're did lucky, you do those out in Sergeant Bluff or? No, I did them actually. Uh, they were recorded at the 
the dorms at Wit. But uh, I was oh, wow. really, I was really stoned a lot, and I worked at Wendy's, <laughs> I, I worked at Wendy's, and I thought I was really good at rapping, and I wasn't. <laughs> you know, so yeah, if you dig deep enough, you'll find them, and they're terrible. But they're, it's cool looking back on all because I progressed so much. But yeah. Now, up and coming gigs. What do you, I know? Tomorrow is Saturday in the park. Tomorrow's huge. Second stage Saturday in the park. Um, Summer Soul Fest is August 22nd. August 22nd is huge for me. I'm a Summer Soul Fest, and then I'm driving down to Hamburg, Iowa, to Benevolent Studios. Which you guys out there, if you've never heard of Benevolent Studios, check them out. One of the greatest live venues I've ever played at. Um, the owners are super passionate. Uh, Terry and uh, Phyllis Tallboard, they're incredible. It's a, uh, it's all ages. It's non-profit it's BYOB it's they're just great people the sound system is awesome um, the people cool. there are cool oh it's so it's nuts uh, Zeus actually got me my first show there and I've played a handful since then but yeah August 22nd Soul Fest and then uh, Benevolent Studios August 1st I'm playing uh, at Benevolent Studios with Zeus actually that, that's a uh, Zeus is headlining I'm co-headlining um, got a show oh Human Fest is coming up that's at uh, Pike Dreams. That's like August 14th and 15th, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't have the, the numbers down right now. And I've got one show booked in, booked in September, and that's it. I'm going to take some time off, work on the new album, and just go from there, just hit it hard. All right. Well, yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, thanks for talking with me and spending some of your time. I appreciate it so much. Yes, thank you for having me. This room is awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't picturing this, man. This is so cool. You guys are laid back and this room's awesome. There's there's an absent poster. Anyone who knows me knows I love absent. That's cool as hell, man. Yeah. <clears throat> right on. Alright. Well for now this is Mama D signing out. Peace out babies. Peace. I'm trying to stop this spasm, this curse that I've been hearing. I'm steady, tempted, fade, I lost the will to create. I miss my motivation, raising my temptation. A soldier never passes, walking barefoot through a thousand city crashes. Lost track of time, the sand must have vanished. Hourglasses broken, I never want to live.